Maving SRM 1S electric motorcycle emphasizes the value of asking the right questions. Instead of focusing on how to replace internal combustion engines, the UK-based manufacturer asked how it could provide a simple, stylish, and practical solution for those with short commutes in urban environments. Their answer? A lightweight, all-electric commuter bike that weighs under 300 pounds, reaches a top speed of 70 miles per hour, and offers an 80-mile range. This approach has resonated well in the UK, leading Maving to expand its reach across the Atlantic, starting with California. If successful, the company plans to target other densely populated areas in the US. Fortunately, or unfortunately, our headquarters are just a few miles from Los Angeles, one of the top 10 US cities notorious for traffic congestion. This provided an ideal setting to test the RM1S in the environment it was designed for. So, does this EV offer a viable solution for urban commuting, and how much fun can it pack into a streamlined design? Hashtag 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 the RM1S, a closer look. The term, simple, is key when discussing the RM1S. It features a straightforward steel tube frame, a non-adjustable fork, and preload adjustable shocks. The narrow, 19-inch spoked wheels and solo seat nod to the design team's appreciation for vintage board track racers. Meanwhile, the upright riding position, 2.6-gallon storage compartment, and multiple ride modes equip the bike for urban challenges. If it seems like we're glossing over the critical components of a modern motorcycle, it's because the RM1S's main attraction lies in its 7 kW hub motor and 2.7 kWh batteries. Weighing around 36 pounds each, these batteries can be easily removed for convenient charging at home, the office, or any location with standard wall outlets, even your neighborhood coffee shop. Charging from 0 to 100% takes 6.5 hours, while a 20 to 80% charge can be achieved in just under 3 hours. The RM1S boasts a listed range of 80 miles, but Maving notes that the bike can stretch to 100 miles per charge if your commute involves mostly slow-moving traffic. However, if you're consistently riding at top speed, the range drops to around 60 miles, with factors like wind, rider weight, and terrain also influencing performance. Conveniently, the RM1 SS charger fits neatly into the faux tank, making it easy to carry along. Much of the RM1 SS electronics, including a control module and a 12-volt battery for onboard systems, are housed in the bike's rear compartment. High-voltage wires run through a large steel-braided hose, contributing to the bike's neo-retro aesthetic. This blend of old and new is further highlighted by the use of LED lights alongside an analog display with a small LCD screen. The bike we tested featured carbon fiber mudguards and optional KTEC shocks, although it lacked the 2.5-gallon roll-top bag that Maving offers as an accessory. In essence, the Maving RM1S embodies class without losing sight of its primary goal, being a practical and stylish tool for local transportation. Storage, design, and overall convenience are at the forefront of this motorcycle's appeal. Hashtag 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 riding the RM1S. The first thing that stands out when approaching the RM1S is its impressive fit and finish, which echoes the craftsmanship of another renowned UK-based motorcycle brand. This is no coincidence. Many of Maving's engineers have roots at Triumph, bringing with them a deep understanding that quality should be both seen and felt. The paint on the RM1S gleams, the metalwork is exceptional, and the various components are of high quality. While the RM1S has a distinctive look, it blends seamlessly into urban settings, unlike the more aggressively styled Kawasaki Ninja E-1 and Z-1. Its design is also more traditional compared to BMW CE-02, another recent entrant in the all-electric urban commuter market. Designed to be accessible for both new riders and seasoned motorcyclists, the RM1S features a seat height of just 30.9 inches and a curb weight of 293 pounds, making it easy to mount and maneuver. The RM1 SS power delivery is tuned for accessibility and range, so it doesn't offer the instant, arm-stretching acceleration that some electric bikes are known for. Instead, the power is delivered in a smooth and controlled manner, giving you the sensation of gliding through the city rather than racing through it. This experience is further enhanced by the absence of regenerative braking technology, allowing the RM1S to roll freely into corners with a calmness that's rare in most motorcycles. For more demanding commutes, 
The bike has enough speed to quickly get ahead of traffic and reach acceptable speeds on California freeways. While it's not designed for long stretches on the open highway, the RM1S is stable and fast enough to handle a few miles of freeway riding, especially in slow-moving traffic. Maving's focus on creating a commuter-first motorcycle means they didn't need to reinvent the wheel when designing the RM1S, or its predecessor, the RM1. However, it's clear that the team invested significant effort into crafting a well-balanced and composed bike. The model we tested was equipped with sportier K-Tech shocks, and conversations with Maving's team revealed they've worked hard to achieve a harmonious balance with all available suspension components. This attention to detail is evident in the overall ride quality. The suspension is supportive, absorbing rough pavement and manhole covers without jarring the rider, while still being plush enough to provide comfort on the daily commute. It's likely that Triumph's influence played a role in refining this aspect of the RM1S. If you expected that solo seat to point out every bump in the road, you'll be surprised to hear that it's nicely cushioned and plenty supportive for local stints. The upright riding position helps with overall comfort, and while the bike is size similar to a 125 cubic centimeters or 300 cubic centimeters street bike, it's moderately accommodating for taller riders. The best part, at least for those in the anti-scooter club, is that you get all of this practicality in an intuitive and easy-to-ride package that doesn't, well, look like a scooter. That may not mean a lot to some people, but the reality is that much of motorcycle ownership comes down to being proud of and excited by the bike you're on. The RM1S offers that, while also being quite practical for anyone with a short urban commute. For reference, we were able to go 38 miles on 68% of the charge, riding in a mix of quiet neighborhoods, congested city streets, and roughly 2 miles on the freeway, a typical downtown ride. Final thoughts. Maving recognizes that, despite everything the RM1S has going for it, the bike has a hill to climb in the American market. Here, the vast majority of people don't look at motorcycles as transportation tools but as recreation. Most don't live a few city blocks from their office either. There are still places for the RM1S though, and in many ways, this is one of the more honest electric motorcycles to hit the market in recent years. It positions itself as a stylish, user-friendly urban commuter, and it very much delivers on that. Plus, Maving is taking other steps to limit barriers of entry through things like direct-to-consumer sales and mobile servicing, stuff larger manufacturers simply can't offer at this time. The result is a unique experience from start to finish and a legitimate alternative to the norm for urban commuters. The question then shifts to, how many moto-curious urban commuters are out there? Rest assured, those who are will enjoy their time on the RM1S, just as much as they enjoy looking at it.